Buenos dias and welcome to Mi Casa es Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd here on the Top Mexico channel. Mi Casa Tu Casa is a program about real people. Real people from the United States. Real people from Canada and different parts of Europe as they take on their international adventure in search of the perfect real estate property in Mexico. From buying to investing and everything in between. Mi Casa es Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd is sure to be an adventure of a lifetime. So buckle up, Mi Casa is Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd is about to start right now. With the Mex Law legal team on your side, you don't need to worry about your real estate legal transaction. We do everything for you, from collecting and verifying title deeds, reviewing the notary's work, paying taxes, and translating documents. Your transaction funds will be available when needed, are fully insured, and safely deposited in the Canadian bank account. Our 24-7 legal service team will be available year-round, ready to answer any questions and provide you with reliable advice. Mex Law regularly trains, orientates, and informs real estate professionals about the legislation that may affect the industry. We are a Canadian firm with 35 years of experience in international real estate transactions and legal services in Mexico, the U.S., and Canada. Mex Law, Mexican Law, International Standards. Today's adventure takes place in one of the most beautiful and exotic locations in the world, the Riviera Maya Coast. Crystal blue Caribbean waters, white sandy beaches and picturesque landscapes dominate this majestic and pristine part of the world. With nearly 22.6 million visitors annually and 1 billion expats calling this country home, Mexico is fast becoming the destination hotspot and relocation destination worldwide. Since the recent emergence from the global real estate market crash, Mexico, and mainly the Riviera Maya, has turned into one of the most sought-after real estate purchasing opportunities on the planet. Now ranked the second fastest growing real estate market in the world, Mexico is calling like a beacon to those who want to buy their very own piece of paradise. White powdery sand beneath your toes, an ice-cold margarita in your hands, and turquoise blue Caribbean waters. This isn't a dream. This can be your life. This is where our adventure begins. Today, our adventure begins in the beautiful, exotic Caribbean coast of the Riviera Maya, Mexico. Since the late 60s, this beautiful and tropical region has seen unbelievable and unprecedented growth as the Cancun effect of this region has now grown into one of the most sought after and coveted pieces of real estate in the world. What's not to love? Year round tropical weather, beautiful people, outrageously delicious food, the Caribbean Sea at your feet, this list goes on and on. Now our guests, the Evans, who we're going to meet in just a bit, are seeking just this sort of beauty and paradise to be in their new Mexican home. Now as easy as they want the rest of their lives to be, they would like that same ease to accompany them while making their purchasing decisions. With many hurdles to navigate when buying property in Mexico, they need a firm and steady hand to guide them as they make this exciting and wonderfully exhilarating move. Thankfully, 
That is what my Top Mexico buyers representatives and myself, this is what we do. We make the buying process fast, easy, and mystery free. That is why I'm here. Now the Evans have been looking for their very own piece of this Mexican Caribbean paradise. Since their relocation thoughts had first emerged, more importantly, they are looking for just the right neighborhood and location as well. With nearly 70% of a person's time spent away from their home, finding where you want to live is just as important and in some cases more important than the actual property itself. Find the location and neighborhood first and the rest will follow. With many worldwide options for them to choose from, they decided to take the plunge and land right here in this tropical and exotic, exciting Riviera Maya, Mexico. But as we all know, the move, especially to another country, this is really just the beginning for their adventure. With real estate buying concerns, immigration, property location, these types of buying concerns, the Evans chose Top Mexico Real Estate to help guide them as they went on their search to find the perfect beach paradise neighborhood here in the Riviera Maya. With their general home property location now in mind, their quest for the perfect paradise property can now begin for them. I recently sat down with them to help them navigate the sometimes overwhelming, daunting, and yet exciting quest for their perfect beach paradise neighborhood. Here's what they had to say. Hello, I'm Thomas Lloyd and this is Mi Casa Tu Casa. I'm here with Terry and Steve, good friends of mine. We're just about to start talking with them and to understand this new adventure that they're going to get, get into here in Mexico. Hello guys, how are you? Hi great. Thomas, we're great. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Where are you from and tell me a little bit about your background. Okay, we're from Roswell, New Mexico, alien country. <laughs> And um, I am a homemaker. Uh, we have a corporation, so I work uh, that a lot for my husband. Okay. We have three sons that uh, are now young men. And um, I'll let him tell you what he does. <laughs> I'm an emergency room physician, and, and so I'm primarily looking for a place for R&R. &R. Most people would consider my job stressful, and certainly it is, but um, you learn to deal with that, but when I want to come down here, I want to really relax and enjoy, and this seems like the perfect place to do it. You came to the perfect spot. We can get you a hammock and enjoy the scene right behind us, that beautiful now Caribbean. you're talking, <laughs> and no clocks. <laughs> I think we can work that into this. Now, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Um, what are your hobbies? What do you guys like to do? If living here in Mexico? Well, living in Mexico, I like to scuba dive. That's very important. Uh, I like to ocean scuba dive and scuba dive in the cenotes. Uh, I enjoy walking and doing my exercise on the beach every morning. And also, uh, it's important to be around a pool because I swim laps. Okay. So that's important for me. Okay. What about you, Steve? Well, virtually all the same things, but I like to go out to a nice restaurant okay. and uh, just enjoy the surroundings. We live in the desert, and so virtually everything that's here is different from what we have at home. And so everything here is wonderful because it's so different. Right. We don't have a pool. We sure don't have the ocean. We, don't, <laughs> we have sand, but it doesn't look like that. And so... Um, we like everything about the place. Steve, I'm going to jump into one of the first questions, and that is what type of budget do you guys have? What, what, how much money do you want to invest down here in Playa del Carmen? Well, that's, uh, we're flexible with that, but probably between five hundred dollars and $900,000. Now, what type of house? Are you looking for a house? Are you looking for a condo? What, tell me a little bit more about your dream house. Well, I don't know. I think we just need to investigate. I think a villa would be nice if it's on the beach. A condo would be nice if it's on the beach. Um, it, I think if you're in a condo complex, though, you might have a pool, whereas a villa you might not have a pool. It just depends on the area. 
um, also a gym. Uh, maybe a condo complex might have a gym that's accessible as opposed to going downtown to the gym. Okay. So those are amenities that I think I would look for. Okay. What about you, Steve? Uh, I don't think we're going to find too many villas in our price range. So we're looking much more at condominiums. And I like the comfort of having a number of other uh, people around us that also have condominiums that help share the responsibility and the expenses. I keep thinking about the expense. Uh, in a condominium, you have a lot of people that share those common expenses, such as the pool right. and the grounds. Is it, if you have a villa, then it's, it's all yours. Uh, the condo would have to be big enough to accommodate our family and guests and be rentable. So I, I'm thinking a two-bedroom, two-bath condo is probably sufficient for our needs. Okay. And, of course, it must have a nice balcony that looks out on the ocean. Uh, view is definitely one of the, the top wish lists on there. Absolutely. Okay, now... I have a pretty good um, understanding of what kind of home you guys are looking for. Now, what about concerns? What questions do you have? Um, you're about to do a house search in another country down here in Mexico. What questions or concerns do you both have? When I tell people back home what we're thinking, they say, what are you crazy? <laughs> you want to buy property in Mexico? And I said, yeah, I think I would. And they said, you can't own property in Mexico. And I said, well, I've heard you can get a trust and there's some way to do it because other people have bought property here. There must be a way you can buy property here in Mexico. And that's a concern is to learn the sequence of events that has to take place in order to own property here. Okay, that's a very, that's, that's very my important only real question. concern. Exactly. And there's, there's more than a million Americans, Canadians, who are buying and have bought properties here. So those are valid questions. Okay. okay, well, Terry and Stephen, thanks a lot for sharing with us what you're looking for, some of your wishes on your dream house here in Mexico. And here at Mi Casa, Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd, we're going to get to work to try to find you some good neighborhoods and good options of properties for you guys to look at and choose from. Outstanding. Thank you. Okay, folks, I think we have a pretty good idea of what my guests are looking for. They were pretty specific about what they wanted, and rightfully so. This is one of the biggest decisions they will ever make. And I'm glad that I, Thomas Lloyd, and the buyer's representatives are here to help them. So enough chit-chat for me. I'm going to go to work on putting together a healthy assortment of real estate areas here in the Riviera Maya for them to choose from and for what they're looking for. The right place with the right location and just the right beach vibe. I'm gonna have my workout out for me. There's gonna be no day at the beach for me today. No way, there will be a day at the beach for me. All in a day's work. Now don't go away, the journey is just beginning for them and for you here on Mi Casa is Tu Casa with Thomas Lord here on the Top Mexico channel. We'll be back in dos minutos. Will the Evans get stuck in the sand finding the Mexican Caribbean neighborhood they've been looking for? Or will it be a day at the beach for this fun in the sun loving couple? Stay tuned as Mi Casa is Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd, Life's a Beach returns. Don't be fooled. The man in the photo cares about the seller, not you. But we do. You are our priority. What do you need? Tell us because we listen and we search for what you want. We have experience negotiating, searching and finding top deals while taking care of our clients. Need legal advice for the buying process? We got you covered. Don't know where to buy groceries? We'll show you. Because we are here to take care of you. Our experience and credentials make us a reliable source for buying property in Mexico. Don't believe me? Let them tell you. Hello, I'm Thomas Lloyd, and this is this week's Top Tip of the Week. 
Bank Trust, four simple things you should know about the Bank Trust. First, if you're not Mexican, Canadian, or American, and you wish to buy property within 50 kilometers of any coastline here in Mexico or 100 kilometers with a neighboring country, you will be required to have a bank trust. Two, the term of a bank trust is 50 years. But don't worry, you can extend it once you arrive to 48th or 49th year, you can extend it for another 50 years. Three, there are three parties to the bank trust. You have the financial institution who owns the property, you have the first beneficiary, that would be you, and you have the second beneficiary anyone you want to pass on the property in case you pass away or your partner passes away. Four, there are basically, when you own the property here in Mexico, underneath the bank trust, you have all rights to it. You can extend on it, you can make modulations, you can sell or take out a lease on this property. Those are the four basic things of a bank trust here in Mexico. Welcome back to Mi Casa's Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd here on the Top Mexico Channel. Now, before the break, the Evans, Terry and Steve, both beach lifestyle enthusiasts, have decided that Mexico was a place where they wanted to settle down and enjoy their life. A place where they could take long walks on the white sandy beaches of the Caribbean, enjoy delicious Mexican food, and travel in the unmistakable and unparalleled atmospheric vibe that is the Riviera Maya. Wait a minute, let's be serious. They want to kick back on the beach, sip ice cold drinks, and waste away the afternoon while listening to the local sounds and the Caribbean music mixed with the light pitter patter of waves crashing on the Caribbean Sea beachfront. And they really couldn't have picked a better place than the Riviera Maya right here in Mexico. Ah, what a life. With this in mind, let's find them their new home. Now, I have identified with the Top Mexico Buyers Rep Team, our couple's top wish list. They can't live without when choosing the perfect Mexican neighborhood to call home. Let us take a look. Our guest's top wish list is comprised of eight specific and essential items. Relax, scuba diving, a pool, condo, gym, Rentability, balcony, a five hundred to nine hundred thousand dollar budget, and their concerns were: what is a bank trust, and what are the steps once a property is purchased here in Mexico? With their wish list now in hand, the top Mexico buyers reps and myself can now go to work. First, my team and I have a brainstorming meeting to identify possible matches, sifting through hundreds of possible properties and neighborhoods that meet our clients' needs. We then search the Top Mexico Real Estate website databases to focus in on just the right property and location. Lastly, we visit a network with over 100 real estate agents in order to properly and thoroughly best serve our clients' needs. Until finally, narrowing down the search from nearly hundreds of neighborhoods down to just three. Aldea Zama is located on the only road that leads you to the beach in Tulum. This community is home to many developments, many of which are within walking distance to the beach. Aldea Zama is a world of its own within the chic and bohemian town of Tulum. This neighborhood is the only planned residential community that exists in Tulum. Most of the properties within Aldea Zama are condominiums, but you will find a few single-family home lots scattered throughout. The architects that have helped in the development of Aldea Zama have created beautiful designs and works in the region, making the neighborhood homey and eye-catching. Approximately 15 single-family homes exist for sale in the area as well. There is no denying that the beaches of Tulum are some of the most beautiful in Mexico. Either direction of Highway 109 is full of white sandy beaches and crystal clear waters. To the north, the small lane leads you through the tropical jungle right by the Caribbean Ocean. After a few miles driving, you will find several beach clubs which will charge a small fee or ask for you to eat or drink something in return. 
you're also a short bike ride or drive away from the only Mayan archaeological site on the cliff overlooking the sea. If you drive further down the conjunction on Highway 109, you will reach San Con, a natural biosphere reserve, home to over 300 types of birds and over 100 mammal species. Here, you will find eco-friendly boutiques and beaches to die for. These beaches are often the backdrop for commercials, fashion shows, and photo shoots. Aldea Zama is a new community and has included a commercial area. However, until now, there are no existing restaurants or cafes in the community. Along the 307 highway, however, you will find many restaurants operating. And on the beach road, there are numerous restaurants of international category. The commercial center of Aldea Zama has yet to be fully developed. There is expected to be convenience stores and other markets. Within five minutes walking, right outside the community, there is a large national grocery store, New in Tulum. This is the largest grocery store in Tulum, offering a wide array of foods, beverages, and much more. For the sports enthusiasts who love swimming, the condominium developments in Aldea Zama offer pools as part of their amenities. Tulum is a bike-friendly city, and this neighborhood has bike paths that lead directly to the Highway 109 bike paths for easy access to Tulum downtown, the beach, and other areas. Aldea Zama has a unique park with a pyramid sculpture where people write down their positive ideas and thoughts. People tend to do yoga here. You will also find a beautiful park with a cenote. The jungle is filled with wildlife like spider monkeys, tlacuaches, foxes, deer, and other animals. Yoga is an extremely popular practice in all of Tulum, including this neighborhood. Aldea Zama, the most natural neighborhood in the Riviera Maya. Playa Car. Located on the south side of Playa del Carmen, Playa Car is a gated community that is divided into two sections, phase one on the beach side and phase two surrounding the 18-hole championship golf course. Phase one is right at the feet of the beautiful and tropical Mexican Caribbean beachfront. The majority of the houses found in phase one of Playa Car are single family homes, but you will find a few condominium complexes operating within as well. The single-family homes range from small houses to four-bedroom homes, or even larger. The few condominiums scattered about are beachfront and offer great amenities for renting out your property. On the other hand, Phase 2 of Playa Car is built around the beautiful and exclusive 18-hole golf course designed by none other than Robert Van Hag. All residents of Playa Car have special privileges and access to the golf club and clubhouse. Although Phase 2 of Playa Car doesn't border the beach, all residents have access to the Caribbean Ocean through the exclusive Reef Beach Club or through Phase 1. Most properties in Phase 2 are single-family houses with over 20 possible condominium options to choose from. Of these condominiums, several will operate on condo hotel bases, ready to take on vacation rentals. Scattered throughout and a popular option are patio homes. You will find around 5 to 10 available options to explore. For those looking to build their own home from scratch, hurry because Playa Car has very few lots left on the market. Within the neighborhood of Playa Car, you will find numerous shopping options available such as convenience stores, drug stores, restaurants, bars, bakeries, wine stores, and coffee shops, just to name a few. Across the highway, there is a large shopping mall with supermarkets and stores, and a Sam's Club for your family's weekly necessities. Throughout the neighborhood, you will find a notice a growing presence of yoga and dance studios as well. Playa Car also offers many options for the sports enthusiasts through its beach club, including kayaking, paddleboard, sailing, and beach volleyball, as well as a fully stocked gym and spa for residents to enjoy. Additionally, many condominiums offer their own community tennis courts and swimming pools as part of their amenities. 
Finally, Playa Car has its very own series of ancient Mayan ruins, as well as a bird atrium where residents and visitors alike can learn about and enjoy many exotic birds of the region. Playa Car, a world of its own in the heart of the Riviera Maya. Downtown, commonly known as El Centro, this Playa del Carmen downtown neighborhood was the first part of this tropical region to be developed about 15 years ago, when the Riviera Maya boom first began. Downtown is located just north of Playa Car and south of Constantinus Avenue, right in the center and just west of the beach. This neighborhood is predominantly made up of small condominiums, many of which operate as condo hotels given the high tourist demand of the area. Condominiums are either located on the beachfront or within five blocks of it. While there are a handful of single-family homes in the area, they are smaller and further away from the beach. Empty residential lots are scarce, so for anyone wanting to build their dream home, the better option is to buy an old home, demolish and rebuild. El Centro has beautiful beaches a main pier for ferries going to Cozumel, and several tourist attractions and international beach clubs open to the general public. In exchange for consuming beverages and food in a club, you may use the beach beds and umbrellas. Within this neighborhood, there are many restaurants and coffee shops of all types. You may find many on the beachfront, as well as along Fifth Avenue and the smaller streets that wind through the neighborhood. Coffee shops ranging from local mom and pop cafes Mexican franchises and even international coffee franchises are abundant and found in this wonderful area. Grocery shops are common in downtown. You will find large grocery stores such as Walmart, Mega, and other large national grocery stores open to the public. An open fruit and vegetable market is also gaining popularity, allowing for residents to find organic and exotic food. You can also easily find specialty stores such as bakeries, wine shops, or specialty foods in the downtown area. For those more active people, downtown offers many options. Most beach clubs offer kayaking, paddle boarding, sailing, beach volleyball, and other water sports. There are also various gyms available throughout, as well as spas. Bike paths allow for biking and lead people from Playa Car to the northern neighborhoods of Playa del Carmen. Finally, for the spiritualist in us all, yoga is quickly becoming very popular in Mexico and downtown Playa de Carmen is not being left behind. People who like fishing will also find local fishermen to point them to their favorite fishing holes and baits. Downtown Playa del Carmen, El Corazón de la Riviera Maya. Now that the top Mexico team, keeping the guests' wish list in mind, has scouted and filtered through numerous neighborhoods and properties, and has narrowed the choice down to three neighborhoods, the top Mexico buyer's representatives invite the guests on a top Mexico real estate tour to check out the options they have chosen for them. With the tour, the guests can now make an informed and educated decision when deciding which neighborhood and what property they want to invest in to enjoy their future. Whoa, now that was some day at the beach. But seriously, now after sitting down and meeting numerous times with our guests and after carefully searching various property locations, in-depth analysis and extensive consideration to their needs by myself and my professional and knowledgeable top Mexico buyers reps, our guests have chosen one of the most coveted and tropical places in all of the Riviera Maya for them to call home. They have chosen the neighborhood of downtown Playa del Carmen here in Mexico. Terry and Steve chose downtown El Centro and Playa del Carmen as it fits many of their wish list items they had requested. They were looking for a gorgeous condo with great rentability potential, close to the beautiful Caribbean beaches. 
This is the perfect location with many shops and restaurants in the area along beautiful Quinta Avenida. Downtown Playa del Carmen, the heart of the Riviera Maya. Nice choice. Don't go away. Mi Casa is Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd. We'll be back in... Dos Minutos. Actual Studio, now closer to you. Visit our new store in Pabellón Cumbres where you will find all our furniture and decorations for your house or apartment. Actual Studio, your best choice. Hello, I'm Thomas Lloyd and this is this week's Top Tip of the Week. Okay, now you have found that perfect paradise property, now what? There are four basic steps that you have to execute once you find that property. First one is place an offer to purchase. That offer to purchase then matures into a promissory contract. During the promissory contract, you're going to be setting up the bank trust. Third step is to take that promissory contract and that converts into a purchase sales contract. That purchase sales contract is what is formalized with the notary public. The final step is to take that notarized title and make sure it gets registered with the public registry. Now remember, if you're buying a property outside of the restricted zone, no bank trusts are needed and no promissory contract. So those are the four basic steps when buying real estate here in Mexico. Well folks, that's all the time we have for this week's show. Don't forget, if you see any properties on the show that are of interest to you, or if you have any questions about how to buy real estate in Mexico, find us at www.topmexicorealestate.com. I want to thank our special guests, Terry and Steven, for taking the time to spend with us and choosing to work with the Top Mexico Buyers Representatives. And a special thanks to you for watching Mi Casas Tu Casa with Thomas Lloyd here on the Top Mexico channel. And who knows, maybe next time you'll find yourself on our next episode. But you gotta get down here first. We make it happen.